Okay, installation of Boeing Bag 2 is complete. That took uh, probably three, two or three minutes, not very long. And uh, to enable the update, you should now reboot your Amiga. Yes, 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 we knew that already. Like I said, you already know where these uh, where these uh, updates are going here. So, I wonder if I even need to pull the CD out each time. It's just old habit to do it. So, let's reboot. I was thinking that that recoverable error I was getting was because of the ROM update, because the ROM, but the ROM update didn't even come in until going back to. Let's see if I still get that. Yeah. It's gotta be because of the Picasso 96 stuff. Coming back up to workbench again. So shell work colon dir LHA dash X X. We did boing bag one and two. So now we're gonna do boing bags three and four dot LHA. We're going to stick them. We're going to stick them in RAM. I wonder if it's going to like that with the ampersand in the uh, file name there. Let's find out. Seems to. So this is the biggest update out of all of them. This is bigger than Boing Bag 1 even because uh, they combined 3 and 4. So let me go ahead and pause this while it's uh, extracting. So shockingly enough... Uh, on archiving Boeing bags 3 and 4 to RAM uh, took quite a lot of memory. It looks like if you have less than about uh, 16 meg or so, you might not have enough memory. So in that case, you would just want to uh, unarchive it to one of your partitions. Um, but we'll go ahead and run through the installer for Boeing bags 3 and 4. There's a README. Take a look at that README real quick. There seems to be a lot of people that have questions about what uh, 3 and 4 do. Uh, it's community effort, um, large hard disk support, new video drivers, uh, a fully working web browser. Yeah, it looked like when it was uh, on archiving, it was, there was a big update to um, AWeb. Um, let's see, this is a list of all of the updates that are included. Um, Pretty much updates to almost every library on your Amiga. All good stuff. I always like having the latest version of the libraries. Um, I'm just kind of curious about this now, but I know you're not, so let's exit out of there. Um, let's you install Boing Bags 3 and 4. Proceed. 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 Where do you want to install it? Workbench 3.9. Proceed. Proceed. Probably same as two. It's not even gonna. I don't even have to pick English. So proceed. Which Amiga models do you use? Like how uh, it doesn't have an option for 2000 on this list here, but it automatically selected other. Let's see. Do you want your startup sequence edited automatically? Yes. Which AHI uh, uh, sound drivers would you like to install? Um, gives me the option for Paula. For my AD516, I need to download the sound drivers manually off of uh, Aminet. Uh, we'll just go ahead and select Paula. Now it looks like it's getting ready to start copying files. Looks like a lot of updates to fonts. New or new fonts. Quite a lot of updates here included in uh, three uh, Boing Bags 3 and 4. Um, and I will mention uh, that there are even more additional updates beyond just what's included in um, Boing Bags 3 and 4. Um, what, I, what I do, honestly, is just I go on Aminet and I type in the name of every single program that gets installed during this process. And, uh, you know, I found updates to a couple different things. Um, I think I can push that out of the way while it's, while it's working. Let's see. Um, so updates and some preferences, some tools. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, a lot of this stuff, I think there was an update to uh, the, I think, the, I want to say there's an update to, I can't remember, Amidoc, Async Workbench, I think there was, there's an update for, um, I, I don't remember, in, in any case, um, like I said, I, I just go on Aminet and I type in the names of every single one of these, Ghostbuster, just do a search for it, see which version you have installed, see which version is on Aminet, um, you know, I always like to have, you know, the, you know, quote unquote latest and greatest of all of this stuff. And I, you know, I find like, I, I feel like it's been very reliable for me. Um, you know, if you always, if you have a question about which version you're running, you could just be, uh, CD SYS colon WB startup. Durr. So just use the uh, version string in the shell so you can say version Ghostbuster. 2.1. So I would just pop on Aminet, uh, see which version, you know, if, if Ghostbuster is one of the programs, I don't remember exactly, but, you know, see if there's an updated version of that. Um, another thing that I do is uh, all my libraries, CD, libs, libs, colon, dir. Um, it's going to list all the libraries that are installed on your machine. I like to install uh, the, uh, you know, obviously the Peter K. Icon library, uh, Thor. Uh, Thomas Richter's uh, math libraries uh, for my 68040 processor. Um, I install some updated libraries from uh, Cosmos. Um, the graphics library, uh, intuition library, I think he has um, a lot of stuff. I've spent years customizing uh, my Amigas, so, you know, I kind of have to have it in front of me to be able to show you everything that I've changed. Um, Let's go back over here. Uh, oh, this is done. Okay, beautiful. So, did I take the disk out already? Oh, I didn't need the disk. Okay, so it's asking to reboot again, proceed. So, really nothing too spectacular there. Um, pause it while I reboot. You don't need to see me do that a million times. Okay, here we are, back up again. Um, so, this is... Uh, my uh, patched, uh, ready to go, Workbench 3.9. You saw me install Boing Bags 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, obviously, it's up and running. Um, you know, there's plenty more updating that you could do. Um, you know, if this were, if I was actually going to use this, you know, I'd come in here and I'd start cleaning up all these, uh, you know, clean up by column, resize to fit. Window, snapshot all. Uh, the updated intuition library adds a lot of additional uh, menu options. Um, so I keep looking for things that aren't here. <laughs> so uh, bench trash got I, I don't know, I don't use bench trash. Um, where does this junk go? Tools, commodities. So here's all these commodities in here now. I'd take this bench trash and drag that sucker right in there. Um, I would come over here and I would grab Commodities Exchange and I would stick that in Workbench Startup because that is something that I use. Um, you know, and I like to have it running in the background. Um, info. Let's see. Hotkey, Control, Alt, Help. Okay, good. It already knows that. Um, The... Just playing around now. Um, there would be a whole lot of customizing that I would do if this were my system. Uh, you know, for starters, obviously, you know, a, a, a file manager, directory utility of you know of some sort. Um, let's see. Amy Doc, I, keep, I do kind of use, but bench trash. How do you get rid of bench trash? I never use bench trash. Quit. Okay, good. Now it's gone. Um, let's see. Uh, system shell. I usually uh, set a keyboard shortcut for the shell. So um, let's install icon lib. 
46.4.LHA RAM. This is the latest version of the Peter K. Icon Library, which is pretty much a must-have, uh, you know, for uh, any Amiga user. You know, it, it it really improves the performance of uh, you know the redrawing of uh, any sort of icons. Um, let's see, I don't have a directory. I don't have a file manager on here. Let's see. Icon library line. Icon libraries. Let's see. This is the one we want to use. So let's rename that. It has a 68,000 to 68020 version. So I'm going to use this, the 020 version of my particular machine. Um, let's see. I'm just going showing you how to kind of showing you how to do this. Uh, you know, without the benefit of a file manager, we would go show all files. Uh, you can either you know you can copy it through, through the shell to uh, libs. Um, so we'll take this icon library, this Peter K latest version of the Peter K icon library, drop it on here. Boom! Icon already exists. We want to replace it. So. Libs version icon dot library forty six point four newest uh, it doesn't show he's he uses like extra decimal values uh, work colon dir lha dash x movie three eight user dot lha ram let's install movie why not. I might just stick this extra CF card in a in a in a drawer and just keep it as a, a spare, or maybe I'll just hold on to it for if I want to make any more uh, rambling, boring uh, demo uh, videos of stuff. None of my shortcuts work. Normally, I would be able to just I have the the click to front enabled, so you just click on something and it pulls it to the front. Bench customization was always a big deal for me. Um, oh, it's, it drives me crazy seeing a plain stock workbench. Uh, Kickstarter version 45.57, workbench version 45.5. Uh, workbench. We can turn off this show to only icon system shell. Library. Um, let's do movie. Install movie. Proceed. 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 Where do you want to install it? Uh, show drives. I don't want to. Do, it just def tried to default to my games directory. I don't really want it there. Um, let's stick it in workbench colon. System sound good. Seems like a good place to me. If I really wanted to go all out, I would uh, configure my uh, Xsurf and uh, go online. I suppose I could do my Picasso. Do you want to install the, all of this extra junk? Sure. I do actually uh, customize my MUI uh, stuff with some of those additional icon sets that it includes. Um, let's stick. Uh, oh, Picasso. Could do install two things at the same time. So let's uh, flip Miami finish here before we do the. We want to install the MUI example programs. No, we already know how long it took the last time I said yes to something like that. All those extra backdrops. 
Movie is successfully installed. Please reboot your machine before starting any movie applications. I think we can install Picasso 96 because I don't think it uses movie. Let's see. First install. Picasso 96 is shareware. Please disable your current graphics board drivers. I'm wondering what... Let's see... It picked up some Picasso screen... Ooh, it did! It picked up all of my Picasso screen meds already when I made that recovery disk. Let's abort the install on this and we're gonna go back because there is actually stuff installed. See, let's tell it to update. Just to make sure we have all of the utilities. Yep, and I already detected my Spectrum graphics card. Would you like to have the Picasso preference programs involved installed in Sys? Where are the support files installed? Oh, I don't care. I, I always delete the support files. Uh, I'll stick them in work. <laughs> oh, what couldn't you find? Oh, where? Oh, it's asking me where they're currently installed. Oh, they're not currently installed. In any case, you don't really need to See me mess around with this a whole lot. Um, the point was to show you how to install uh, Boing Bags 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, I mean, really, there's nothing special about it. It's just boom, 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 1, 2, 3, 4 right after the other. Um, you know, with, uh, you know, obviously making sure that you uh, um, install the uh, web tools so that uh, the Boing Bags can update them uh, during, the, during the update process. Um, you know, don't make any dumb mistakes like I did and forget to make your uh, workbench partition bootable. Um, that's really pretty much all I had to show you. I, I hope that I didn't bore you too much with this video, and I will shut my fucking mouth and go home and get some sleep now. Um, exit out of there. God, I can't wait to put my... As, as fun as this is, I can't wait to put my proper uh, workbench CF back in there. Uh, peace. Have a good one.